Guys, welcome to the round of eight. So it is officially the round of eight. Oh, these were, were these created? Okay, so no, Largo was created by Ladius. I was actually curious about who created the infested maps in particular, or if these were just straight up edited by Dead Infested. I'm not entirely sure. But as you can see, it just makes interesting matches altogether. It's almost like a completely new game. I actually think I mentioned this in the previous cast. If you, I do feel like there's a meta universe where this has been a thing. And actually, so I'm hearing calls in Twitch chat where they're like, I want to put in some sponsorship to this. Reach out to Dead Infested. Maybe you can put up a thing where people can, op we can do open donations and raise that prize pool for season two. Because I assume season two is also $10 and also mod ship in Dead Infested's uh, Discord server. <clears throat> I feel like if Artosis gets involved, maybe we can... Uh, do like some temporary mod ship there. I don't know, some sort of sizable prize. Upper right hand corner, by the way, Vile Tomato. Upper left hand corner, we have character R. I feel like Zerg have been dominating this thus far, but I still feel like Terran, at least on maps like this, are the stronger races to start off with. Looks like Supply Depot being built in that corner. And again, I feel like Supply Depot, I feel like the early supply is a bit of a waste. I feel like the way to go is actually just to move an SCV out here, capture the supply by going ahead and moving your overlords out capturing the uh, infested command centers. I'm not sure that the players are aware of what these maps look like, honestly. I do like to see the variety from uh, Crazy Critters. Suggestion in chat that they should be allowed to ban or unban Ayaya. I, th this is the, th this has been an unending fight in Artosis's mod ship back and forth. This is the sneaky removal of Ayaya and the re-removal and the timeouts that are distributed therein. I don't think there's been any like full-on bans because of Ayaya. But, uh, I don't know. My heart's with it. Spotting pool being dropped once again rather than additional command centers. Character R taking... I think that's going to give him a slight economic lead. He's going to go ahead and try to go the double barracks route. I love it! I love it. Supply Depot, BB, from there. Usually you see barracks, barracks, supply uh, as the build order, but going double barracks. And I, I think this might be the ticket to victory. If he can just get a lot of Marines out to negate the early... Uh, infested Terran. However, again, I feel like that build order, I guess the pseudo build order, might be snuck up a little bit if you could just grab these command centers. I don't know that do infested command centers provide supply, so let's check. So overlords provide eight. So as this, get cap uh, as this gets captured by Vile Tomato, so we saw it go up to 25 from where it was previously. I don't think the command center, I don't think infested command centers provide supply. They should. Someone needs to fix that. Come on, Blizzard, where are you at? The important patches need to happen. Clearly, this is the most pressing issue in StarCraft, that infested command centers should provide... Maybe someone will complain about the, the patching, where it's like, no, this makes Zerg too imbalanced. It's too powerful an upgrade that you've given to Zerg with that balance, uh, with that balance patch. Anyway, both players mostly playing in the dark. Overlord actually hovering over this corner for Vile Tomato. And Vile Tomato actually going for the red, I'm realizing. So he's actually also got the color coordination. So I'm definitely going to give him an advantage. Is he going to go sneak that command center? It looks like he's ignoring it for now. Two Zerglings making their way to the front. You have four Marines already out and additional Marines being produced. And this could be the ticket. Looks like he's trying to sweep and maybe capture an Overlord on that corner. This Overlord is going to go ahead and scout and see those Marines. But this is brilliant. This is what I was looking for. The Marine army to be able to, especially with range, if we can get range a little bit more rapidly, I would be amazed to see this level of play where just a lot of Marines, quick range. It looks like instead Vile Tomato going to play it the standard route. He's going to hatch. Going to hatch play interior to his own base. It's weird because when I look at these expansions, when I see like red in the bottom right, I think it might be, my brain goes, there's an expansion as well, but not an expansion. Character R getting... His own infested. A Zergling trying to get a bit of free damage against it. This I don't know that Vile has a sufficient army to counter this. Because this is going to be a lot of Marines. Plus that infested Terran. It can go ahead and... I mean, with the Marines blockade, they will do an initial damage and also absorb, absorb some of those hits from these sunken colonies. I think Vile Tomato feeling a bit of pressure. Wow, can infested command centers? They can land on the creep. I did not realize this. I didn't think they could land on creep, but it makes sense that they can since they're Zerg units. This Overlord not getting popped in the corner, but taking some damage. It might get popped now, and that might put, yeah, that put Vile Tomato in the red, and that could be the death knell here. Now this Overlord sneaking in, seeing the layer up, and there's a counter defensive. Did, it, did the Infested Terran already get wiped out? I think the Infested Terran that was running somehow, maybe it was a misfire exploded someplace. Maybe it, did it explode? I don't see where it went. 
Never mind, it must have pulled back. I missed it on that screen. So two more moving out. This is a large amount of Marines. This honestly reminds me of tactic, uh, tactics from the original StarCraft on the ladder. We have a burrowed... This is genius play. Go, Vile Tomato going burrow. Did Ego... Did Character R spot it? Is the next question. So letting the initial two infested Terrans by. Taking some damage. Waiting for an opportunity to strike. One Marine down. And yeah, he's just going to slow play this. This is genius play. But losing these infested command centers in the meantime he's just waiting for the opportunity to go ahead and spring the trap now i think he should spring this trap it looks like stim is done wipes out a huge amount of marines brilliant play from file tomato one marine left attacking the command center the rest looks like now they realize burrows in play more marines making their way across the zerglings cleaning up what's left and file tomato looks like he's going to macro up behind this that's brave he's got a spire and he's like you know what forget it i'm just going to macro who cares that he has marines on the ground with stim this is incredible. This is like, I love it. It's like watching the meta. It's like StarCraft's new again. I don't know another way to put it. Completely new meta all the way across the board. Machine shop being plopped down. Barracks, third barracks, still no academy and a starport. Some medics have been fielded, although I feel like medics, I mean, okay, that'll help you against the Zerglings. I don't know if that's really going to help you against the infested Terrans. And this infested Terran just taking some free shots though. Another Infested Terran making its way out from Character R. It's a little bit hard to tell whose Infested Terrans are whose. Still some Marines on the front. Looks like you have the two something colonies being planted. Let's see if we see a third and a fourth. Vile Tomato not doing a great job macroing, but that is allowing him to store... Maybe he actually did it. Was doing a good job macroing. It was just waiting to build a bunch of Mutalisks. So now he's got a bunch of Muta. But keep in mind there's enough... There's sufficient Medic Marines, and there is an Engineering... Well, there might be an Engineering Bay shortly. Starport being dropped with a control tower. Siege tank and tanks being built. With enough mutalisks, these medic marines might be in trouble. And there might be enough harassment. It looks like there are going to be six and probably eight to follow. And that might put that might trigger character R to go all in. So this overlord now taking some damage. Is that going to put character? I, that's not going to put character in the red. But let's see if he rushes to get an engineering bay or get some form of defense back in his main. This SCV trapped in that back corner. Maybe he can use that for grouping. I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to group the marines. But some Marines grouping up. Keep in mind, they don't have medic support, which is going to make them a little bit stronger. A siege tank trying to make its way up. One of the mules has been picked off. And yeah, they're just melting under this fire now. A siege tank trying to sneak its way across. That's going to draw a, a significant amount of fire. These They could really use these medics right now. And they're just sitting back. Medics are lazy. I tell you what. You think med this is okay. As far as like... There's been, you know, those arguments as far as, okay, who's the best waifu in StarCraft 2? Like, Kerrigan, obviously number one. Just flat out. There's just no arguments about that, right? But then the, then the next question is, is, okay, number two, are you talking about medics or Valkyries? And I think because medics are just have just shown themselves to be so lazy, like, their one job is to keep these Marines alive. Now, granted, the, I think the Marines have more attachment to the medics, but clearly the Valkyries are the better option here. Because the medics just stand around so often while Marines are just out there dying in the field. High maintenance, I tell you. Anyway. <laughs> because, yes, this is the way we... And anyway. Engineering base up. Still no turrets anywhere in this base for character R. He's producing an initial wraith. I don't know that's going to be all that amazing versus this amount of mutalisk. This is a growing force. Natural expansion being built. There's a turret in the way. So one turret, though. I don't know that's going to be enough. This infested Terran sneaking in 3 o'clock location. I think he was going to try to take out something built here. Now, here's a problem for Vile Tomato. He's got three Infested Terrans incoming, but keep in mind, if you don't spread them out, one will end up doing splash damage and blowing up the other. So, inf oh, this is creative. He's actually doing the burrowing. So he's burrowing them underneath. We got a full control group of Mutalisks making their way across. There's only one turret to defend this and no Marines in position. An Engineering Bay uh, is silent. And so it's going to be, looks like a Wraith, some turrets, some Marines to try to defend a natural expansion that's now going up for character R. Vile Tomato making his way across. Maybe seeing a... Well, he's just going to move out that Wraith, and that Wraith is going to get hunted down by these Mutalisks. A drone making his way across the map. <laughs> going to be intercepted by... The... Okay, finally the Mutalisks make their way across, and still Character R just... Well, he's going to keep some Marines at home base, but not building any additional turrets. Now, I feel like the combination of Infested Terrans plus Mutalisks is one of those things where Zerg might be able to just punch through this natural expansion. 
but it, it looks like the way Vile Tomato wants to play this is to try to tempt these medic marines onto these sunken infested Terrans, or these burrowed infested Terrans. That's that's a genius play. That's a that's a, a brilliant play. So now, is Vile Tomato going to buy it? Okay, he's pulling back, trying to pull back across here, but moving right into the trap. Unburrow! But the infested Terrans blow each other up, and they don't even... Oh, they just went into a group and blew themselves up. They had their own little, we're going to explode on ourselves orgy. And left their mutas, uh, left the mutas hanging. Okay, and if Infested Terrans happen to be, if, uh, man, that was so much opportunity just to not pay off. That's so sad. I got to say, if Infested Terrans happen to be female, they might be, who knows? Maybe they're, I'm not sure. Non, uh, I don't want to, this is not an insult to non-binary individuals at all. This is not what I'm saying. But I think Infested Terrans in this universe because of just the way things work here, we could officially call them non-binary. This that's just too. Ins I feel like I'm insulting people now. I I'm gonna now I'm digging myself a hole. I'm gonna pull back. But what I wanted, what I was trying to get at, is if we're going to put infested Terrans on the waifu list, clearly we need to invent a tier three, and we're gonna have to put them somewhere below that at like eighth place, even though there's not a. Uh, even though there's not all the numbers in between. Actually, th you know what? I wonder how many... I don't know. You know what would be interesting for Blizzard is actually if they took the SCVs and they took some of like these side units like this and they actually like mixed the gender up in them. Because this should be an equal opportunity army. Get with the times, Blizzard. That would be an interesting update patch. Anyway, command center being built up. Dropship being built. That could be a game ender. Additional barracks being planted down. Character R definitely playing this like a classic Terran. There is another expansion in this bottom left hand corner that's taking, it looks like a hit from that Wraith. I'm going to give a sizable economic lead. It looks like some damage has been done to that command center as it's uh, being built. A sizable economic lead, though, macro wise to character R. Tactically, though, I feel like Vile Tomato has shown us a lot. Shown us quite a bit. So, and keep in mind, this is a best of two. I can't even remember who took the first game. It feels like an eon ago that I casted this in Infested Cup times. Double engineering bay, but still only a single turret in the main. And no marines in position. But these mutalisks aren't even going for the main uh, to engage here. So it looks like... Okay, now they're they're finding that turret. Are the marines going to respond, though? They're going to have to walk through their own SimCity. So a good amount of economic damage being wreaked here. Otherwise, the supply looked about even. And these, wow, these mules are just going to town. This command center is going to try to float out. It's actually now finding that command center, the infested command center blockading. So the main completely mined out. Now keep in mind these marines do not have medic support. Again, the medics showing themselves to be lazy. Showing themselves to just not really, they just don't care about, this is what I feel like out of all, okay, here's the thing. Terran obviously kind of like Imperial Guard-esque from Warhammer 40k. And so, granted, they're not really going to care about their own troops. And they just send Marine after Marine after Marine to die. But clearly the Medic, as far as the attack force, cares the least about their own troops dying. And, I, and honestly, I wonder if they're actually secretly sadistic. Where it's like, okay, the Marine's going to take damage. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep them alive to watch them suffer. I'm just going to keep watching them get hit, hit over and over again. And just laugh at them the entire time. And I don't care if I... And they're so sadistic, they, they're willing to go into battle to make it happen. They don't care if they die along the way. I think I missed a drop while all that was happening. It looks like it uh, dropped off uh, something. I'm going to assume some infested Terrans. Some damage being done there. A Mutalist getting absolutely splorched. I'm looking for... Yeah, it looks like we're seeing a big in-base super slow drop. A, this is like a the 10 centimeter drop comparatively. This looks like it might be able to take out the command center at the main, but too many... Here, yeah, not spreading them out, so it looks like splash damage taking out multiple. Multiple, and actually we might be able to get a bonus infested command center. That should be an, old, uh, an instant win for Zerg on this map, just because of the nature of them. But trying to do damage right there. Sorry I missed the drop back there, but I don't think it did a lot here. Uh, economy's been equalized. Main is completely empty. Looks like some overlords might get picked off by this wraith underneath. The Marines running up, they're going to kill, they're doing some sufficient damage, uh, a lot of damage, that command center, but this is just giving Vile Tomato time to kind of mount a defense, it looks like. He's wiped out the main right there. That infested command center might get wiped out, 
He's starting to work on the barracks. There's some vultures right here. But yeah, it looks like the rest of this should get cleaned up. As long as those mulesks aren't too greedy. Some supply getting knocked out. So all he has to worry about, I think at this stage, is these medic marines. And this time, sorry, no medics alongside. Again, lazy medic, where are you? Look at them. They're just sitting there healing the SEVs. They're like, you know what? I'm going to try to survive this fight. I think we should just give up to the Zerg. Anyway, character R, I'm sorry you have to deal with the medics. Blowing up the... Man, Infested Terrans really like blowing their friends up more than they like blowing up opponent forces. So, complete duds all the way around. They're hard to micro. wonder if you put them on patrol micro, if that'd be better. I don't know that someone's really explored the micro dynamics of Infested Terrans just yet. Anyway, the base being worked out. Looks like the additional... Marines finally the medic getting in the fight here. Another medic sneaking out uh, to, in, uh, to join the fray. Mineral only is mining. That might get wiped out by a lot of these Marines. So this is just kind of turning into a macro match. Looks like Vile Tomato wasn't mining in this bottom left-hand corner. Wraith sneaking in there. It somehow got three kills in the midst of this. The Mutalisks working on the Academy in the upper left because it hates medics as much as, as the rest of us here. That's not. To, I guess I shouldn't say I hate medics. I just feel like they're just... They're just really cruel and sadistic, is all I'm saying, right? Anyway, another Marine wiped out. This hatchery's been wiped out. Trying to find additional bases. Honestly, might be able to just walk around the map and wipe things out. And the way these infested Terrans have been blowing themselves up, Vile Tomato might be in a bit of trouble. Somehow, he's even on workers, but behind in supply to someone who's mining off one base and has mo most of his main completely wiped out. So Vile Tomato kind of dropping the ball as far as the uh, macro aspect goes. So character R is still in a good position. He's marching out with more Marines. This time the medics deciding to be along, daying to join the fight, I guess. It's not beneath them this time, now that it's going to be the potential victory rally. And an SCV coming alongside. So let's see if... Uh, but there, keep in mind, there's still these burrowed infested Terrans. Not that that's worked out thus far. I almost feel like there should be like... So in Command and Conquer, there's that X command. I feel like there should be some sort of command like that. I think there's some Overlord speed drops here. And this is the thing. Overlords in, or infested Terrans. Oh, and I missed it. I missed it. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna pull back. We got to see this glorious moment. Considering how many of them have whiffed thus far, I know that's uncharacteristic, but this is a very uncharacteristic uh, match. He even comsatted it. He comsatted the infested Marines. They're just going to unburrow. And still run up and do the explosion. The Marines, the medics survive. And the medics survive. So while that was happening, we uh, had an overlord that was doing, uh, this time, speed drops. And that is a terrifying thing. Because you can just drop them on top of the buildings. You don't have to worry about them blowing up on themselves. Things like that. Hive tech now in there. And if, if Dark Swarm comes into play, that will be GG. Because Dark Swarm... With infested Terrans underneath, it is unstoppable. Finally, Marines getting on top of this. And Okay, so we got a good count here. So this is a group of six Marines. Blew up that infested Terran before it was really able to respond. So that looks like it might be the magic number. Just kidding. No, it's not. Those Marines getting obliterated. You can see the helmets being left on the ground and morphing. Those are real. I do have to say that at least the Terran army makes all their stuff biodegradable. Because we saw those, tur those uh, helmets just immediately morph into the ground. Mutalisks working on that turret. Full control group. Should be able to wipe this off. Vile Tomato showing that it maybe uh, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that this was in bad turn rate. And so he's having trouble my, uh, microing these mutas. I think it might be better with hold position here. Over this natural expansion, character R down to 16 SCVs. Still trying to produce marines to go ahead and defend this. And kind of a skeleton force to try to defend against continued attacks. Vile Tomato just needs to macro. That's all he needs to do in this match. He's got such a huge bank. He can produce so many infested Terrans and so much else. It looks like he does have to worry about some infested Terrans. Comps adding once again, but an infested Terran just watching this. Okay, at least dying in that aspect. Character R not even bringing the full bear of his attack force. Maybe he's just that confident in this attack force at this stage. Moving up with the siege tank. Is he going to turn turn this around? That would be amazing. The Mutalisks coming back. A bit of turnaround micromanagement. Looks like there's only three Marines left. The Medic's still not healing. Still not healing, which leaves all of these infested Terrans defenseless. The medic isn't even going to die, is it? Never mind, it was charging the front briefly. I'm not sure that healing infested Terrans does much. And so it looks like the rest of this attack force is going to get cleaned up. I assume that's going to be GG from character R once this is cleaned up, because he's not even bothering mining at his main or uh, at his natural expansion currently. It looks like he's just got a single SCV mining gas. Some more infested Terrans running their way through. 
<laughs> one blowing itself up. It looks like it did manage to take out a bit of damage on that turret. Still trying to make a fight of this. Uh, again, Vile Tomato just needs to spend his resources, and he should be able to clear this out. Actually, Shock, this match is still running. Some more Marines, it looks like they stimmed, again without the medic support. <laughs> I'm just going to harp on this the entire time, trying to make its way to the bottom left-hand corner. A Spore Colony right there. Two Hydralisks now to try to defend this, but honestly, these Marines have level 1 armor, level 1 weapons. And with an Infested Terran in the way, it might be able to wipe that out. But here's the thing, even if Character R manages to take out this left base, Vile Tomato still just needs to macro and he'll be okay. It looks like Character R is now mining again at the very least. This uh, command center, yes, it does regenerate. Confirm that. Going to go ahead and just plop down with these Marines out of position. The Hydralisks being produced, it looks like they were able to wipe out a handful of drones. Some reinforcement mu of Mutalisks making their way down. A Wraith, another Wraith was produced. It's kind of in the way here. And I think this might be the ticking time bomb, but the Marines marching in from that bottom right-hand corner. And Vile Tomato, again, with a huge bank, just needs to plant some additional hatcheries. Just start producing, honestly, out of his infested uh, command centers, and I think he'll be A-OK. -okay. I wonder, actually, if opponent's infested command centers can land on opponent's creep. It's another question to realize. Or could you build a Nidus Canal inside? If you think about it, this is like, got to have some creep interior to the base, right? Uh, is he going to get there? Does manage to land. Another medic taken out. Only one left with a wraith overhead. And a bunch queued right there. That's what needs to happen. Oh, and is he boxed out? He might actually be trapped in that corner. Alongside that's This is kind of an interesting moment to think. Where you've got a guy whose entire job is to just wander out and explode on his opponents. Uh, just sitting there looking at the skeletal remains of some ancient thing. That will probably remain long after him because... Whereas his corpse is biodegradable and instantly disappears, that corpse is uh, there on this map forever, probably. I mean, it's lasted however long up to this stage. Wraith not long for life. I think this is sufficient mutalisks, and honestly, with these drones just joining alongside the tech, that should be enough to go ahead and finish this. Character R still fighting it out with 40 supply left. Bottom left-hand base. Uh, is that mining again? Still not mining for Vile Tomato. It looks like he is finally adding some additional hatcheries, though to spend that absolutely gargantuan bank that he's got rolling. Maybe he can get some additional gas out of this. Some Zerglings with Adrenal upgrades. Running out piecemeal. Looks like they have level 1 Carapace. Had to go ahead and engage the rest of this army. And the Mutalists, still 10 Mutalists outnumber the Marines, should be able to clear the rest of this army out. For a second, they were thinking about letting that Medic live, but instead killing it last second. I get it, Mutalists. I get it. The Marines making their way back to go ahead in a defensive stance around these turrets. Three turrets to the south, though. There are three turrets to the right, predicting what's left of that mining lane. However, again, what just needs to happen is, is this infested command center just needs to keep producing infested Terrans to attack, attack the Terran from within. Attack from within! Vile Tomato continuing the macro game. Looks like he's got three hatcheries in the bottom left corner. I don't see how character R comes... I mean, maybe, just because of Vile Tomato... Uh, just not really spending resources out here. Maybe he can sneak back into this. He's also refusing to put down a Defiler Mount. He's going Ultralisks. Okay, there's the... I take it back. He's not refusing. Now he's got the Defiler Mount. He's got the Ultralisk Cavern. This should be it. Now, maybe... I want him to take some more gas. Is what really what I want to see. Dropship is in play, keep in mind. Still this Infested Terran in that back corner. The Marine going to go ahead... A single Marine... Uh, a tank going bottom left. Some Zerglings right there to go ahead and wipe it out. Character R being very greedy, considering he's got 36 supply. And this tank just can't figure out where the ramp is. Okay, and it's going to provoke its own death. The Zerglings. What a... Yeah, that was silly. The Zerglings. Honestly, I think it... Yeah, Vile Tomato with 88 supply can just rush in with whatever's left. And it kind of be... It can be that end scene we saw. Is this a patrolling... Okay, so never mind. The dropship now has an infested Terran in its midst. That can actually kill a lot of Zerglings. This infested Terran, I think, blew up on its own command center, unfortunately. So no help there. Now Vile Tomato starting to macro it out. Did he actually lose? Okay, so he still has this infested command center, which is going to slowly heal up. And I think what's happening here is he's got, okay, he's got this infested command. So he's down to just three infested command centers spread out around the map. Technically four, but I'm not going to count this one. Um, the dropship making its way to the bottom left. Maybe to wipe Zerglings out. There's actually not a lot of mining happening here. And critically, Vile Tomato's not mining gas. He's got plenty of minerals, but not mining gas. The Zerglings making their way out. A bunch of infested turns alongside. 
a bunch of mutalisks alongside. So, it's a, so call, a character R going out with a ha ha ha, this is going to win me the game maneuver with the two infested Terrans and the dropship to the bottom left. But as he's doing that, oh, actually able to wipe out. Did that dropship take splash damage somehow? Does it attack air? Or was this just low on health this entire time? I think both of them... That, hmm. I'm not sure what to, to think about that. Anyway, now a flood of Zerglings making their way up, though. This is looking like uh, Marsara. That's right. Hit by the spore. Thank you, minions. There's GG from character R. So Vile Tomato going to advance. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to... What round did I say this was? Eight. We'll move to the round of four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.